the Talachlin's latest arrivals bring a touch of modernity to the line. An invaluable addition to the railway, both Tracoon and St. Cadvan have quickly proven their worth, offering a faster pace and impressive strength to the locomotive department. These Bagley Drury diesels arrived from RNAD Tracoon, an armaments depot in Fishguard, Pembrokeshire, in 2008. The depot was a labyrinth of railway lines, both standard gauge and two foot six sharing the space, with deep mines cut into the hills to store military equipment. When the base closed, there was an abundance of railway stock that was perfect for the use of heritage railways. For its part, the Talachlan ended up buying three diesels, track, and some wagons from the now defunct RNAD base. Now, I hear you ask, three diesels? But there are only two. The third is being used as spares to keep Tracoon and St. Cadvan going. When they arrived at the railway in 2008, a lot of work was needed to re-gauge and restore the diesels to working order. This meant both sat unused for a number of years, until 2013 when they finally entered running trials. The loaded test train was actually made of Midlander and Brynne Glois dragged along with their engines off. By 2014, both diesels had started work in earnest, but were still somewhat shrouded in mystery, as they were used mainly by the engineering department. St. Cadvan was named and blessed in 2016 by Andy John, the Bishop of Bangor, and Tracoon in 2018 by Sir Peter Hendy, Chairman of Network Rail. It was on this date, at the Anything Goes Gala, that they pulled their first passenger train together, made up of the four original coaches and guards van. This heady mix of the venerable antiques and the latest thing is typical of the delights that the Talachlin has to offer its visitors. Despite being named first, St. Cadvan is number 12, and Tracoon number 11. The reason for this is because, as the prototype of the class, it was thought appropriate for Tracoon to have the lower number. Most of the class was built in one large batch over the course of 1983 and 1984, but Tracoon was constructed six months beforehand. It's another welcome addition to the Talachlin's pioneering spirit. Since entering service, it's little surprise that the diesels have come into their own as a force to be reckoned with. While they can be a little temperamental, they can run at the same speed as the steam engines with ease. This means that, if necessary, the railway can now run diesel passenger trains to a normal timetable, and that engineering trains run less of a risk of making the passenger service late. It's easy to think of the Talachlin as a line defined by steam, but the railway is always looking to utilise the potential of modern technology. Well, modern by Talachlin standards. They are, after all, nearly 40 years old. For many years, the railway has wanted to offer a service that has as much flexibility as possible. And thanks to the addition of both St. Cadvan and Tracoon, this dream has finally been realised.